Hey everybody, Cody here from Protocase back with another Proto Tech Tip. Today is part one of two about tips on how to design sheet metal parts within SolidWorks. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about some reoccurring issues that we see within customer submitted files, which is the bad practice of dimensioning to a bend line. So what I mean by a bend line is the visible bend radius line shown in the CAD model. So we use SOLIDWORKS here at Protocase and you can see what line I'm talking about here. The line is where the bend radius and the rest of the flange meet. When the size of the bend radius changes, this line moves up if it is bigger or down if it is smaller. So the issue lies, sometimes when we receive files from customers they'll have their connector cutouts or any other features dimensioned to the top of this bend radius to secure its position on the part. This can be a problem for us because a lot of the time we'll have to actually update the bend radius slightly on a part to accommodate whatever tooling profile we need to use to bend it. This means that the bend radius can get slightly larger or smaller which will in turn end up pushing your cutout around from its intended location. Now when I update this bend radius these cutouts are actually going to shift upwards. So we have procedures and processes in place here to catch this type of thing by saving what we call a reference part from your submitted files. Then we will overlay it on top of the finished product after we've adjusted the bend radius. Sometimes we like to color the model red or something bright so that when these parts are overlaid, you can clearly see the shift in the cutouts. So here I have my reference part that I'm bringing into my assembly. And you can see that the bend radius is different on both of them. Now let's mate them together to see how these cutouts are going to change. Now once these two parts are superimposed on top of each other, you can clearly see that the cutout shifted by the difference in the value of the bend radius. Now here I'm actually dimensioning these properly to the outside of the part, so if we do end up changing the bend radius, these cutouts are going to stay in their same position. So you guys can now see how important it is to actually dimension those cutouts and features to the outside of your part, rather than the top of your bend radius. That's it for this week's Proto Tech Tip, I hope you guys enjoyed it, make sure you tune in next week for another one.